Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at a depositional coastal feature. Um, this depositional feature is called a spit and it forms on a discordant coast. A discordant coast is the one that we looked at on a previous video where you have alternative bandings of hard rock and soft rock and you get bays and headlands that form. In this specific diagram we're going to be marking in two bays and two headlands. Now it's important that in one of the bays we put a river because this river is going to help the formation of a spit. Without it, a spit could not form. Now, for the formation of a uh, spit to occur, we, the main process that's occurring is deposition, but there is also quite a large element of transportation that's occurring. This transportation occurs due to the prevailing wind, which you can see that I'm marking in on the left-hand side of the diagram. This cause, causes the waves to move and to follow the same direction as the prevailing wind, and because it's following the same direction of the prevailing wind and through the process of longshore drift that I'm going to mark very shortly on this diagram, it transports sediment from the left-hand part of the diagram to the right-hand part of the diagram. The sediment that is slowly transported across the coast will eventually become deposited on the far side of the headland. The headland is not, this part is more sheltered and less affected by the waves and the wind, so therefore deposition occurs. Now every so often the wind direction can change. We call this change a secondary wind. And what this wind will therefore cause is it will cause the dep deposited material to move or to shift direction and to move inland a bit. This causes this formation that we see on spits called a hook to form. You can see the hook that's labeled in on the diagram. Now behind this uh, spit, you have this area of very sheltered um, sea and this gets a lot of deposition that occurs because of the river bringing sediment and also due to the sea. This type of um, area is um, often, uh, you have a lot of vegetation that forms and you get a salt marsh that eventually forms in this area. Now in the photo that you can see uh, that I've just put in above uh, the diagram, this is a real spit and you can see that I'm labeling the different types of features that I've also labeled on the um, hand-drawn diagram below. Thank you very much for watching and have a really great day.